Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting, relaxing viral question today. On the first side, this is like very simple question, but a lot of students do this mistake and I wanted to record this video. I want you to understand how we need to solve this question correctly. So we have 6 divided by 3 divided by 6 divided by 3. So on the first side, this is like the easiest question you've ever seen. We have all the time division. We don't have any like squares, cubes right here, parentheses. We don't have like a complicated expression right here. We have only like a regular expression with, with division, yeah? So here's a question to you, what is the correct answer, what do you think is the correct answer? Right here we have four options, so it's really great to check your school knowledge, to check your algebra skill, and it's really great to check our answers in the end of the video, because this is a very tricky question, and I think you will make this mistake. I hope you, you won't make this mistake, but let's let's check it, okay? So I hope you choose one option, what do you think is a correct, and let's try to solve it. Before solving this, I want to start with this solution. So we have 6 divided by 3 divided by 6, I just wanted to rewrite this question divided by 6 divided by 3 and I want to start with this solution. A lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, 6 divided by 3 on the left hand side equal to 2. Yeah, 6 divided by 3, everyone know about it, this is obvious case, yeah? And we have the same expression on the right hand side. 6 divided by 3, this is the same expression as right here. So 6 divided by 3 equal to 2 as well. And with this division in the middle, we have 2 divided by 2 equal to equal to 1. And we have this option. It looks like option A is a correct answer. So this is the most popular solution. A lot of students solve this question like that. And right now I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. I want you to understand one really important thing. In math, we need to know a correct order of operation. Right here, we have this operate we have this order on the left hand side we divide and on the right hand side so we jump from left to right is it correct or not correct here is our main question because obviously whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer right so we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem because in math we need to have like one and only one correct answer yeah so right here we jump from left to right yeah so this is our first first case and I don't, don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect I want you to understand that we need to know about a correct order of operation. Let's look, for example, at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. Yeah? And let's solve this question according to order of operation. Yeah? Because right here we just jump from left to right, we solve this wherever we want, like from, from, we jump from left to right, and we have option A. Yeah? But let's solve this question according to the correct order of operation. This is the most popular mass operation order. And let's solve this according to this. Okay? So we have 6 divided divided by 3, divided by 6, and divided by 3. Okay, this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, and let's go through the steps real quick. So first of all, this uh, first step, parentheses, yeah? So now we need to scan where do we have this parentheses right here. Let's look at it. I don't see any parentheses. Yeah, we don't have any parentheses, so we need to skip this part. We don't have any parentheses, so we don't need to, to do the thing with parentheses. With parentheses, this question like will be more complicated, so it's really great that we don't need this to do, okay? We don't have parentheses right here. What about the next step from the top to the bottom? The next step, exponents, yeah? As I told before, this is like a really easy expression without any exponents. We don't have any cubes, fourth power, fifth power, like huge power. Imagine you have like three to the power 100. We don't have any of those, so we just skip this part. It's really great because with parentheses and exponent, this question will be like more complicated, so we, we don't need to do this, okay? Let's go to the next step. The next step, multiplication. And a lot of students do this mistake, they say you okay, can multiplication, but multiplication and division, this is like, we need to add to this as a group. So multiplication and division, this is one common group, yeah? So uh, we need to scan where do we have multiplication and division sign. Yeah, from left to right, let's do this. So right here, first sign division, we need this expression, doesn't matter, multiplication, division, in this case, if we find mm, division, because we, all the time we have division, I didn't see multiplication, so all the time we have this division. So right here, we didn't have multiplication sign, we have only division sign. And if we go further, a little bit further, we can see this addition and subtraction, so last group, but we don't have any multiple, uh, any addition and subtraction signs, so we reject this step and this step. We have only, only division, as you can see, no parentheses, no exponent, no multiplication. Division we have, yeah, and uh, addition and subtraction we, we don't have, yeah? So, and here's the main question, what is the correct order according to PMDMC? According to PMDMC, correct order is from, from left to right, yeah? And let's scan, what is the first sign from left to right? This is the main, the key moment right here, doesn't matter, you have multiplication and division group, you need to scan and what is the first sign from left to right? Right here we have three signs. This division, this in the middle, and this one on the on the right hand side. So 
if we scan what is the first sign from the right, we can easily find this one, because this is first from left, okay? So we need to divide at first this 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2, yeah? We have 2, and we have this expression, so 2 divided by 6 and divided by 3. Okay, okay. And right now, as I told before, before we divide 6 divided by 3, but in this case, if you're talking about PMDMC, we still have this division expression and we need to scan once more what is the first sign from left to right, which is really important for us because uh, as you can see right here with 6 divided by 3, this is the first sign from right to left. But according to PMDMC, the first sign from left to right is this one. So we need to divide 2 divided by 6, which is equal to 1 over 3, 1 third, yeah? And with this division, so 1 third divided by 3 equal to 1 over over 9, which is option, option D. And here is our main question. This one we solved with uh, PMDMC. This one we solved whatever we want. We just jump from left to right. We solve this question in an easy way. We, we, we want to solve it like that because 6 divided by 3, we have the same expression. So this is, I want to say, this is like the most popular mistake. And this is one option A. This is absolutely incorrect. What about a correct option? Of course, 1 over 9 is a correct a correct answer. And I hope you understand my thought about it because this we solved about, uh, according to PMDMC, a correct order of operation. This one we jump from left to right, of course, if you put brackets right here, if you put parentheses, then this will, it will be correct answer because 6 divided by 3 we need to start with from this parentheses and right here 6 divided by 3 we need to start from this parentheses. So option A is a correct when we have parentheses, but in our case we don't have any parentheses, so we just reject this uh, option A, which is the most obvious option. A lot of students choose this option and of course this is absolutely wrong. So let's write our answer. Our answer option option D. So I hope your answer is the same as mine. But I feel some some students uh, solve it as option A one. I, I feel that. But I hope you learn something new in this video. This my this is my goal to to give you this knowledge about this uh, question. And I hope you understand my thoughts about it. I wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.